Hi, it's Mark from Top Local. I'm here with Simon Kelly, InSync Physio in Vancouver, Vancouver's top physiotherapist, multiple time voted by their customers, best physiotherapist in Vancouver. And we're going to talk about hamstring strains. How are you doing today, Simon? How are you doing, Mark? Thanks a million for dialing in. Um, great to talk to you here today. I'm um, looking forward to chatting to you about hamstring uh, neuropathy in particular, actually. So, yeah, we'll get cracking right away, I suppose. I had a client who came in a number of weeks ago. She's a, an avid runner. She's actually run numerous marathons, and she was increasing her running up to maybe sometimes even more than marathon, 35, 40 kilometers. And she was getting really, really bad and um, pain in her glute in her bone muscle. So that's generally how she sort of presented into clinic. There was no um, huge swelling or anything like that. At first, it was kind of global. It wasn't like she wasn't able to specifically point to a region in her glute muscles. So again, it was gradual in onset. So you're kind of pretty sure it wasn't like an acute rupture or hamstring tear or strain or anything like that. She couldn't remember a specific event. Again, that crosses off a lot of uh, diagnosis like I spoke about before. And it just gradually began to get worse and worse where she wasn't able to run at all. But in particular, initially, it was at 35 kilometers and then she couldn't even run 5 to 10 kilometers. So that's kind of when she came into the clinic. So I saw her then. So that's the diagnosis part of it. What was the treatment plan that you put her on and how did it go? So the treatment plan, Mark, because initially it was a bit more global, I actually treated her piriformis muscle, which is a tight muscle in the back of her glute. We've all heard about, well, most of us have heard about that muscle, the sciatica gets compressed down through there. So initially, because it was global and she wasn't pointing at a specific spot, I thought it was piriformis syndrome. So we settled that muscle first, we desensitized her whole system. But then after two or three sessions, we realized that she was coming in and she was much more specific. What I mean by specific is she was pointing at her sit bone. So we sit on two bones called ischial tuberosity is the fancy term we use. That's where all your hamstring muscles attach to. And placing that with her subjective of lots and lots of running, basically lots of hip extension and knee bending. That's what your hamstring does over many, many kilometers. The, the tendon was just breaking down and it wasn't able to keep up with the load that she was placing on it. So initial treatment, like you said, is basically um, what we call isometric contractions. An isometric contraction is where you contract the muscle without actually moving through the range. You have to load the tendon, but you have to load it in a very specific and sort of measured way. So new research has told us now that we actually should be loading it pretty heavy. She was in what we call a reactive stage of tendinopathy, so she'd be doing 70% of her own sort of body weight. An isometric max voluntary contraction, we call it. What that does is it sort of breaks down the collagen crosslinks. It gets the tendon back to health, and then we can do more of what we call isotonic, what you see people doing in the gym, lunges, squats, lots of heavy weight true weight bearing. One key thing with hamstring tendinopathy is it's good to load it but not in a compressed position. What I mean is compressed position is where you're leaning over like bent over like a straight or stiff leg deadlift. That would be putting a lot of compression and tensile force on the ischial tuberosity so you want to avoid that kind of stuff initially. But eventually you want to be going down into that position so you'd be in a semi bent over position then lower and then lower until the tendon is able to withstand it and then you do a lot of energy storage and release which is like jumping running eventually so that was kind of the initial program we got our isometrics first then isotonics and then energy storage and then energy storage and release and we just gradually increased our running back up from five to ten kilometers right back up to 25 30 kilometers I'm still seeing her at present, so she still has a touch of tendinopathy, but it's much, much better. And we are loading the tendon into compression now, so she's almost doing her straight leg deadlifts back to normal, which is great. So there you go. If you've got some problems with hamstring tendinopathy, it's sore in your hams from running or any kind of exercise where your hamstrings are going to be bothering you. The guy to see is Simon Kelly at InSync Physio. He's in the Canby Street office. You can reach them at 604-566-9716 to book an appointment or check out the website, InSyncPhysio.com. You can book online on there. And of course, InSync also has, for the folks in Burnaby, they have a North Burnaby office at 604-298-4878. Again, you can book online at InSyncPhysio.com. Thanks, Simon. Cheers, Mark. Thanks very much.